I'm upset. Such is life. Get you a man that doesn't care when you upset. <laughs> Selfish. Smart technology <laughs> saves the day. Your Opinion Stinks opens the conversation on a hot-button business topic and flips it on its head. Hosted by a wellness coach and a business coach, we break down conventional business while building entrepreneurs up for success. Who Who will you agree with? with? Welcome to Your Opinion Stinks. I'm Tanisha. And I'm Tim. (laughs) Welcome to the show. Welcome. If you're on YouTube, subscribe. Hit the alert button. Subscribe. So the notification fairy makes its return. (gasps) Notification fairy. And if you're on uh, (laughs) iTunes or anywhere you listen to podcasts, don't forget to subscribe and uh, auto download so you don't miss any episodes. Because, yeah, the goodness comes to those who request. Oh, wisdom for all of you. Sassy. (laughs) Hardly. Guess what we're talking about today? Raspberry Pi. No. I'm talking about cryptocurrency. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean, ugh? Cryptocurrency. I wanted to talk about this because I just hear about Bitcoin, 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 Bitcoin this. You got to get your cryptocurrency. Oh, here's a new one. And here's a new one. Oh, you got to get some more. And I feel like I'm missing out. Like, oh, it's worth a million dollars. Oh, it's not worth a million (laughs) dollars. Like, what is happening? Okay. And certainly a couple weeks ago, we did an episode uh, that centered around Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I forgot to mention in that episode that it seemed like part of their motivation to get their privacy policies, et cetera, in line was in preparation for them having their own cryptocurrency. Yep, Libra is on the way. Right. So it may, it just it added to my wondering, like, what is it with cryptocurrency and how should businesses be using it? Mm -hmm. And what are the pros and cons of that? Because, you know, I keep I also keep being exposed to people I listen to and brands being like, hey, we take cryptocurrency, a podcast I listen to. She started taking cryptocurrency as a way of paying her. I'm like, oh, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. What do you think? So it just so happens that our good friend Chico. Uh, pointed out to me that he actually became aware of Facebook really pushing to get Libra out into the world. Yeah. And he's not really big into a lot of the business type news, but he's been paying a lot more attention as of lately. And that's so crazy. We were thinking about it on the same day. Yeah. <laughs> I said, what do you think about doing this week's episode of cryptocurrency? He's like, what? What is it with you and Chico? <laughs> Because it's even getting to the point where it's being reported in Black Entrepreneur, mm. uh, Black Enterprise, Black Enterprise. Black okay, Enterprise. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll we'll link to that article. Okay, the, well, what uh, they saying the about notes. it? Mm. Um, so I'll, I'll send it to you in a few. Okay. Um, actually, I'll send it to you when you start talking. So, <laughs> um, so here's my thing with crypto. It's like going to a foreign country. <laughs> every day every minute and not having the right currency in your pocket because you're traveling so much so fast that you can't pay for anything unless there is an agreed currency but why is it like that i would think it's the opposite here's why there's tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of crypto right now. Yes. Yeah, Bitcoin, what, of course, being the 4, one. What, approaching 4,000? You know, yeah. crypto being the leader. Right. That everyone has public awareness or, no, about. You mean Bitcoin? Bitcoin. Is, yeah, Thank Bitcoin you. is the leader. Is the leader that everyone has, uh, you know, 
to the you know, point that it's sort of being used interchangeably to all the other currencies right. like yep. kleenex <laughs> i i call all tissue kleenex <laughs> they're not all kleenex <laughs> all kleenex is tissue not all no, tissue is kleenex, kleenex. <laughs> <Yeah>. exactly <laughs> so <laughs> wow that was actually pretty good thank you so because there's so many different currencies right now, so many different ways for the currencies to be exchanged, and then the fact that there isn't a, there isn't something to counterbalance against the cryptocurrency to give it a true world value. Yeah. You're consistently having to figure out, okay, what is the currency that, that is popular enough for the people that I'm exchanging goods and services with that they accept that we all agree has value. Mm -hmm. And then who is or what is the determining factor behind the value of the currency? You're trading ones and zeros mm -hmm. with nothing to say behind it what the value is. True, but that's kind of also what arguably what we do with money okay money regular money here's the thing and i'm <laughs> going to speak on behalf of u.s currency because that's the one i know the most u.s currency has a value determined by gold in a reserve i don't i i my understanding is that's an oversimplification that's but, why there are so many people who invest in gold or like forget this cash stuff this Inve stock stuff. Investing, I better have some gold. Investing in bars. And silver and all of that. Investing in precious metals still means that that precious metal has a determining factor by somebody that people agree to that says it's worth this per ounce. Exactly. That's Bitcoin doesn't and have that, that yet. And that price fluctuates. Bitcoin does not have that yet. So if you're building a business where you're saying, I'm accepting Bitcoin, that's perfectly fine for you to do that. And there's no problem in anyone accepting cryptocurrency for their businesses. There just needs to be okay. an agreed, something agreed See, upon. Was, I wasn't expecting to argue with you about this so early. <laughs> there needs to be something that's agreed on to say, hey, this one and zero, this digit is worth X amount of whatever it is. So when you try to exchange it for... Let's say a U.S. dollar. Okay. Let, let's put this then, argument on hold. Then I'm gonna finish what I'm saying, and then <laughs> and then all right. Then I can see it being a viable way to you, accept. You want into a business. more objective measure of its value. I want an agreed upon value, especially since it's so easy to create crypto. Okay. You too can create cryptocurrency <laughs> for your business. You can. That's why there's over four. Four thousand. You too can create <laughs> cryptocurrency for we're your not business. We're not encouraging you to do that. You too we're can create not, cryptocurrency for your, your opinion business. Your opinion stinks. Is not encouraging you to do that. Just keep in mind that it is only worth whatever <laughs> you say it is. So if you end okay. up saying that one cryptocurrency dollar thing, whatever <laughs> one cryptocurrency dollar <laughs> is worth. <laughs> Ten thousand dollars in U.S. currency. I feel like this is going to quickly descend into. It's going to have a really animal hard crossing time. bells. <laughs> there you go. So for those of you who we don't need know, to make bells. Nintendo as a cryptocurrency has a really fun game called Animal Crossing. We'll get all the Nintendo people, <laughs> and they have money in the game called bells. Bells. And, you know, a bell is a dollar, whatever. <laughs> Just saying. But the best thing about bells is you can sell trash. <laughs> you can earn some bells to pay off your mortgage. It's a whole thing. Well, I digress. <laughs> For those of you who have never heard of Animal Crossing, please wait till March, uh, estimated March of 2020, <laughs> and get it on your Nintendo Switch today. So back Nintendo is not a uh, sponsor. Of no, the show. it's not a sponsor. So back to the Black Enterprise Crypto. Is it yeah. three Black? I'm gonna. No, I'm, I'm, about to send, I'm about to send it to you. I'm about to send it to you right That's now. That's not it. Okay, you're gonna send it to me. Yeah. Send it to me right now. So while, like I said, while you were talking, I'm gonna send it to you. So I will orient us, because some people listening may be like, "Well, what is cryptocurrency? Set. I don't understand what it is." Should I talk while you're looking it and up? And you guys are arguing about it. 
right, I'll explain it. But I it. feel out of the loop. I'll explain it and you can correct me. Well, I was going to give it. Because you need to see what I sent you. I was going <laughs> to. All right. So, well, I was going to read a definition. I don't know where it is right now. See, that's, that's why I got to talk so you can look and see stuff. What? All right. So cryptocurrency, ladies and gentlemen, is, <laughs> is electronic money. Think of it as your credit card. <laughs> your credit card has a certain <clears throat> amount of dollars on it that allow you to spend on products and services anywhere in the world. <laughs> cryptocurrency is the same exact thing well. that's not tethered <laughs> to a credit card company or a bank. Yes. And well, you, sort of. Oh, well, sort of. <laughs> and you can exchange <laughs> these imaginary fictional dollars. Imaginary. Just okay. like cash money is it's imaginary. It's not real. <laughs> Not um, real. Okay. In exchange for <laughs> products and services, <laughs> except it goes through your computer <laughs> and some person somewhere who's using up all of the video cards oh, no. <laughs> is siphoning these fictionary dollars <laughs> and grab the dollars <laughs> and exchanging them for you. So they act in the capacity of a bank. Okay. That's cryptocurrency. <laughs> Yes and no. <laughs> My opinion is correct. Backed by science. Oh my. So let me read the Wikipedia definition. Oh, so Wikipedia is more of an authority as me? I okay, let me let me preface this by I saying I saw this on Vice Land. No. <laughs> let me preface this by saying <laughs> neither of I think you will agree. Even though you know a lot more about cryptocurrency than I do, I think you will agree that neither of us is an expert, expert on cryptocurrency. Okay, ding. <laughs> <laughs> and disclaimer, please seek the advice of a financial or legal consultant. Any and all advice given on this show is for entertainment purposes only. And should not be taken without the advice of a financial or legal consultant that is connected to your goals and your specific situation and your tax consequences. <laughs> and this may indeed be the first. I'm, I'm thinking we might come back to this at a, at a later time. We're, we're going to, especially with what's happening with Facebook yeah. and and the government and and, go, and Libra. Right now, it's kind of the wild west. <laughs> it is the wild west. Over four thousand different currencies and no country <laughs> to support it. And and things will evolve over time, and people are going to come up with strategies, especially for a small business, which is our focus yep. on how to leverage it and use it and be strategic about it. So I think we'll come back to this. We will. So yes, I'm using a Wikipedia definition to give us some grounding so that we're talking about the same thing. No, I don't have my monocle as Tim is gesturing right now. We'll figure out in season two how to deal with the monocle or the opera glasses. <laughs> it's so dramatic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> Cryptocurrency. A cryptocurrency or crypto. Oh. That's weird saying it that way. Saying it, you don't know what I'm... If you're not watching, you don't know what... Okay, I'm just going to read it. Why don't you put that on, Never the, mind. on the screen too? Forget what you it. just said. Every, every single shut, word. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> just, just shut up. Okay. <laughs> shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I'm channeling Will Ferrell. <laughs> okay. A cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange that uses strong cryptography. No, I gotta start over. This is hard to read. <laughs> okay, starting over. I bet I could do it. You wanna read it? Let me give it a shot. I was gonna read just down to here, this part. Okay, let's see if Go I can do it, this. Go for it, babe. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> a 
Are you ready for a new voice for the definition? Here we go. <clears throat> a cryptocurrency is a digital asset designed to work as a medium of exchange that uses strong cryptography to secure financial transactions, control the creation of additional units, and verify the transfer of assets. Cryptocurrencies use decentralized control as opposed to centralized digital currency and central banking systems. Oh, shucks. One take, Tim. Oh, that was good, Tim. Oh, you might be reading the definition from it. And I know you were <laughs> you were working hard to get it right that first time because you know I wouldn't have let you. <laughs> I was like, see, see, harder than you thought, huh? Mm. Oh, you might. <laughs> You might need to read it from now on. Give you the monocle. <laughs> that was very good, Timothy. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> so that's what we're. That's the definition but it we're said, starting it said, from. It, it said exactly what I said. No, no, it didn't. <laughs> no bank, third party, exchange for goods and services. Protestant yeah, services. And that's why I said yes. And no, <laughs> but that that's the definition that we're working from. And please visit youropinionstinks.com or if you're watching on the, our YouTube channel, Your Opinion Stinks, check the description for show notes because we're linking to the articles that we're going to talk about today. Okay, so Tim, Tim sent me the, the article. It is called... This woman says black investors should pay close attention to Facebook's new cryptocurrency, Libra. Now, my, I have not read this article yet. My suspicion is that it applies to all people, <laughs> not just black people. I don't know. I think there might be a bias. <laughs> well, it is in Black Enterprise magazine. <laughs> but... <laughs> The, the, the sentiment in it is pretty general to anybody it's, considering it's that by anyone. anyone who's using Facebook or using them for their ad network yeah. or anything remotely close to any of those things yeah, would be able to use uh, Libra. Yeah, just skimming it, it seems like it would be applicable to anyone. So if you do not identify as black, please do still check it out. Bitcoin is one of many cryptocurrencies, and uh, like I, like we mentioned a moment ago, it tends to be used interchangeably with cryptocurrency, but it's just one type. So I found this article from 99bitcoins.com. So you may be surprised to know, I was surprised to know, there are a lot of big names that are starting to take Bitcoin. Yeah. You, you, there's, there's what do you like know big, of? um, oh, don't quote me on this. This is from what I think I remember. I think I remember seeing Amazon taking sort crypto, of. sort of. Um, I think I remember seeing Target taking crypto, but mm -hmm. I'm not sure about that. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I remember seeing Macy's. Mm. But I'm not sure about that. I know that there's big names that have included, you know, uh, cryptocurrency wallets. Right. And that that's the thing. You need, you need a cryptocurrency wallet that I think you need to buy. Yes. You have to buy the wallet. And then that's what you put your cryptocurrency into that you have mined or purchased yes. or traded, I guess. Or yes. Yes. So... Um, and just for those I, that don't know, mining is staying on the computer for lengths of time, yeah. getting random ones and zeros that are just floating out there <laughs> and claiming them. It's like found money. So it's like walking down the street and finding a quarter. Yes. Oh. It seemed to, to the little bit I know about it, it seemed to be, I sort of half saw a documentary and it needed a lot of people were mining it professionally, but it took a lot of power, a lot of computers, a lot of a computers, lot a of, lot of energy of uh, video cards uh, to run the data, data, oh, oh whatever. My. It is a production. It's a production. Um, don't recommend it as a as a business <laughs> practice. But for the ones that do do it, 
and truly understand it, um, they end up collecting a lot of virtual currency. So there are brands like I can't deny the ones you're saying because I and even I'm, as I'm not I'm not 150 percent sure positive. Sure. I just remember that some of them that is an option, and I think that those might have been. And even this article says. Um, Companies tend to make a big deal out of when they start them, but they don't make as big a deal as about when they stop them. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, considering. So, <laughs> so even this list, you, they're like, okay, we, we think so. And I see it was last updated June 10th, 2019. So as of June 10th, 2019, some of them included are, you mentioned Microsoft, I did see something about Microsoft where they started it, stopped it, but then they started it again with a bunch more rules. I would like be that. interested to see which currencies they take. It's, it's something like, well, this article is about Bitcoin specifically. Okay, so the ones you're going to mention are Bitcoin. I think so, unless it says otherwise, but I can't be sure about that. So, so for don't the sake of discussion... Me. Yeah, it, in terms of Microsoft, this article says the company allows the use of Bitcoin to top off your Microsoft account. Hmm. Um, yeah. So I can use some Bitcoin to pay for some video games. Now, here's a fun one. I'm not going to do it, though, but. Yeah. <laughs> here's a fun one. Yep. Subway. Yo. Now, I don't know if they still do it. Don't five, quote me. Five dollar. Five dollar foot long. long. With the Bitcoin Pay wallet. for a cryptocurrency. <laughs> 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 there, they even have a video in there of a guy How to do it. buying a Subway sub with Bitcoin. It was a bit of a production, but he did it. The Subway guy had this piece of paper that he held up. <laughs> And it had a little QR code or something in it, and it had info on it. And so then the guy that helped him type wow. in all the things and use the app. And it was a little trouble, but he did it. He paid for his sub with cryptocurrency. His sandwich. <laughs> his salad sandwich with meat. So uh, I'll let you go to the the um, article at europeinstincts.com or in the description youtube.com Europe, slash europeinstincts uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's an interesting list of uh, Subway stood out to me as <laughs> I would love to be the person <laughs> waiting for the cryptocurrency to register yes and just uh. experience the process I'm see. I feel for the people behind that person, because <laughs> even Apple Pay. You, <laughs> I was at a grocery store, and someone two people ahead of me was trying to use Apple Pay, and their signs like you can use Apple Pay, da, 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 da. and they were trying to use the Apple Pay. The cashier had no idea how it worked. Uh. <laughs> someone in, behind me in line had to walk around down the store and across to help the person use Apple Pay because the cashier didn't know how to use it and then go back. So I imagine How come there wasn't a the reward <laughs> for the person that helped to cut the line? Y'all are mean. What, a reward from us? <laughs> I was just trying to buy, I think I had like two, three things too. And I'm having to wait. It's like someone pulling out a checkbook. I'm like, oh, <laughs> gross. <laughs> You millennials. <laughs> so, oh, speaking of millennials, <coughs> let's talk briefly about a couple of pros and cons. If you're thinking about doing this as part of your business, <coughs> you okay? You okay? I was about to say, or just don't, <laughs> or just don't. You don't think they should? You don't think people should? I can. Here's the Not scenario I yet. see. Here's the scenario I see, because I'm intrigued by it and I'm attracted by the fact that even though it's highly volatile, <laughs> what if it goes way up and I don't have any? So what? So I'm tempt. I'm. T here's the thing. What if a biz a small business, like 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 ours, let's say, let's say in a month, we're like, hey. We we're not going to convert our whole models, so we won't, you know, offer a five thousand dollar coaching package for cryptocurrency in cryptocurrency. But maybe, you know, we have a twenty dollar offering. That's just this this ebook, 
and these benefits. And if you want to pay in cryptocurrency, you can. We still benefit from having that person as a part of our ecosystem on our email list. And we are building our cryptocurrency account in a way that is um, not giving, it's not incredibly risky because we didn't take a huge chunk of money, but. Here's the reason why I say wait. Mm. The simple fact <laughs> that you are not traveling to 4,000 countries. Why are you so stuck on this point? The inter that's what makes it Here, it's, more, it's, it's use the, it's, more it's the whole accessible, thing. It's not the, less. It's the whole thing. If there are stocks, and there's tons of stocks that you can go with, everything that is a stock has something that determines its volatility. The volatility in cryptocurrency is so... Okay. It's, it's so I think, sporadic. I think you're conflating the volatility and the cross-border payments. So let me... Hold on to that point until I make this point, because it might change your mind. Go ahead. So one of the articles we'll be linking to is the pros and cons of accepting Bitcoin for small business payments. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it does talk about one of the pros being the fact that cross-border payments are slow. So when you're when you're taking a regular money payment and all the exchanges and the and the conversion and the blah blah blah, and what if it's from the, someone you don't trust and blah blah blah, it can really slow down you making money from someone who's not in your country, whereas cryptocurrency, it's much easier. It's person to person. There's no third party payment payer. No third party processor, rather. Not exactly. So it's, well, it isn't. It's person to person. There's also people. I mean, that you can do it. You can get like a, a Bitcoin visa, which is a thing in some places. But other than that, it's person to person. That's why part of why people like it. Whoever has it owns it. Like, and so once you give it over, that's it. It's faster. Just so just because you're in another country doesn't mean it's slower. <clears throat> but an another um, pro I'll mention, or two more. One, you mentioned millennials. <laughs> this article points out millennials, that if you want to court millennials, this is a great way to do it. Because millennials are more open to digital, digital money, digital currency. And so they're like, oh, yeah, I can pay in Bitcoin, bet. You know? <laughs> and three, no chargebacks. So because you don't have the third party processor, and if someone's like, I don't like the way your product is like, well, I mean, tough. <laughs> they can't just go to something like PayPal, and like, I don't like what they did. Like, oh, well, here's your money back. And then you get hurt, even though. They were the ones who messed up. No chargeback sounds sexy for any business owner, but no chargebacks, lower transaction fees. Still, I think it's too early. Faster international international processing. You can't take Bitcoin and buy yourself a plane ticket. Or can you? Because if you go, if like I didn't. Here's, here's another, I didn't look into this super deeply, but in some, you can get, from my impression, you can get a Visa or MasterCard that's connected to your Bitcoin account, as long as it's an accepted bit or accepted cryptocurrency account, so that you can use that card to buy things. There has to be an exchange that has value. There is, but... There's a there is a market value for cryptocurrency. There's a market value for Bitcoin. That and that volatile. conversion that is extremely volatile. But I don't know. I, I don't know. That and I this say article wait, people. this article does talk about the volatility. Like you you can take a payment. We take a payment for that five thousand, but by the time we go to cash it out at a Bitcoin ATM or to buy something, the value went down, so we didn't actually make 5,000 after that. That's, mm -hmm. That is a risk area. 
there 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 have been Bitcoin millionaires, right, and Bitcoin zero heirs, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that quick because they get wiped because out. It's, sure. it's still young it's young. i don't have a problem with anybody using or accepting cryptocurrency mm -hmm. i say for business not yet not yet i can't argue with that i would say if you do do it make sure you have your cash out well at least make <laughs> sure you have you're very explicit about your policies around it and your return policy, if any, around it. Be really explicit about that because there are reasons why people are like, yeah, we take it. Like, oh, wait, we don't. <laughs> but also be very aware of the tax consequences because in the U.S. and in many places around the world, there are tax consequences. We'll link to an article that talks about the US tax consequences. Uh, basically, cryptocurrency is considered uh, property. It's like, wait, what is it? <laughs> wait, I need to find it. Gotta love ways to tax anything. Anything. <laughs> love it. <laughs> oh, Just so you know, the air that you're breathing will eventually be taxed. <laughs> First, they put it in. Cans, so canned air. Canned air. And then there's oxygen bars. <laughs> but the free air is coming to you, the tax. Yes, on Nerd Wallet. Nerd Wallet. I Nerd like Wallet. Nerd Wallet. I Nerd do Wallet's too. a great place for all of you out there. Yeah, they they have a guide. Bitcoin taxes in 2019, a guide to tax rules for cryptocurrency. If you've owned or used Bitcoin, you may owe taxes no matter how you acquired or used it. So be careful. So be very intentional and strategic in how you're going to use it and what portion of your payments it will include. Be very explicit about your policies and procedures around it and be very aware of your tax consequences. Talk to a professional for your business if you decide to get into it mm -hmm. or take Tim's advice and just not yet. <laughs> My opinion matters for the safety of your business. I'm just saying. I, I, that's fair advice. It's, I, I just. Until there's a PayPal for crypto, wait. I, I don't know because part of the attraction of crypto is there is no PayPal. And I get that. I get it. You don't want the third party person. You just want you just want to be able to take payment from somebody and not have it be a whole thing. But there at the same time there are reasons As, why it's a whole thing. <laughs> you want to do it? Make your own. Look it up. Make your own. No, it is no. out there. Okay, I don't know if I'd take that advice. Soon. <laughs> Look out for Tim Coin. Just make your own Tim Coin. Tim coin coming you know, to you. Probably already is Tim coin. We need we need to snatch up the like different a few different versions. Yas like, coin. It's, it's like um it's like we, yeah we should do Yas web coin. addresses. All the good ones all are the taken. URLs. <laughs> We're going to do Yas coin people. Y O S coin. Look you out for it. We can't tell them. They, oh, someone might go do it. <laughs> We're not going to do it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. We might do it. <laughs> Dude, as soon as we're done with this episode, right, before it takes I, five minutes. Before I even post, like, <laughs> done. Don't even bother. And in the edit, you'll see Yas Coin. <laughs> buy your own. Want to buy some Yas Coin? <laughs> Yas. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that feels like a good place to stop. What do you think? I think all of you wise people out there are are highly intelligent <laughs> and incredibly they sophisticated. Are. Yes, they are. So just just pay attention to what's happening in the marketplace. Yes. Cuz the future is digital. It doesn't mean that you need to be an early adopter in everything. It doesn't. It doesn't. And and get, if get the if, education on it. If you choose to acknowledge make sure you do so knowing there's some risk. Do it on something you can afford to lose. Yes. Don't invest. Make a podcast. You can't afford to lose. <laughs> and accept Bitcoin. 
Yes. So I think that's it. But we should right. mention yes. that we our season is done. Season one is done. Blah. Blah. We will be back on Tuesday, August 6th, 2019. That's the plan. That is the plan. So we're going to like do some... Some planning and some strategizing and like get get some stuff happening and popping, and eventually get Yaz coin going okay. and catching up. Can on you some imagine books. fire sale on YourOpinionStinks.com? <laughs> Buy all the things with <laughs> Tim Coin. Gonna, we'll make a whole bunch of shirts ba, 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 ba. And, and eight tracks eight and tracks. cassettes, LPs of. All the good shows. Uh, all the good shows. One record will have one show on it because it takes that long. <laughs> oh man, it would only is it eight. No, it's gonna be two. twenty. It's gonna uh, be one a collection. On each side, it's right? gonna be a, tw- a collection of twenty, uh, twenty LPs. <laughs> twenty records. Oh, so the shipping on that's gonna be terrible. <laughs> but you'll be able to pay so exp- with Bitcoin, <laughs> Yas coin, Yasco. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there we go. Hey, 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 Yas coin. All right, cool. Go for it. All right, so guys, again, thank you for uh, listening and watching. <laughs> Season one is in the books. Mm-hmm. Uh, YouTube, subscribe and hit that alert button so when we come back, yes, you'll already know that we're here. You might even hear some stuff about the notification fairy. Keep feeding her. And if you're on, thank you for listening. You guys are wonderful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you're on <laughs> iTunes or anywhere you listen to podcasts, don't forget to subscribe. So when we come back, uh, you won't have to worry about where we went. We'll just pop up in your device. Mm-hmm. I am Tim. I'm Tunisia. And remember, opinions are not facts. Do your research and have fun in the fight. Bye bye. See you in a few. Mm-hmm.